Hello, I'm Brian Fitzgerald, The Golf Doctor. Today we're going to take a look at simple putting mistakes golfers should fix. So there's lots and lots of things we can do uh, to improve our putting. These are just the really simple things, really don't take much at all to fix, but if you can go and fix them, it's really going to pay dividends on improving your putting. So the first element that I want people to fix is that I see this happen so many times when I go out on the golf course with golfers is I see the pointer finger down that way. So I understand the logic behind that. The brain is saying, well, if I put my pointer finger there, it can help me to push the putter in the right direction and it gives me better distance control and better control. The downside is that it actually doesn't work. So those two digits, the thumb and the pointer finger of that right hand, are the two digits that are doing most of the work. And that's where your feel is, that's where your control is. So we need those two to be in a position on the club where they can do something. And I quite often imagine if you're having, a, if, you, if that was a hammer and I was going to hold the hammer, I would do something like that and I would hold the hammer that way with the pointer finger underneath and the thumb straight down the top of the shaft. So with my hand in that position, I now have a greater control over the club head, the speed, the face direction, everything. It just gives me so much better control. But when I get my finger down the outside like that, I lose a lot of control. So just that one element, if you can focus on improving that and just tucking that pointer finger underneath, it's going to go a long way towards helping you improve your putting. So the next simple mistake I see people make is they actually put the ball too far forward in their stance. So I see a lot of golfers with the ball almost level with the left heel about where you would play a driver from. And some people putt well that way, but for the average person it's not really going to work too well. And the reason it won't work too well is that with your ball too far forward, you're then going to be hitting upwards. The middle or the bottom of the arc is about there in the middle of my stance, and we're going to be hitting up. Now, some people think that you need to have top spin on the golf ball, and to some degree that's right, but we do want a good solid strike at impact. And just by having that ball too far forward, our angle of attack is very upward, and that tends to half top the ball, and it won't be the, as bad a result as a top on the golf course, but you are striking up on the top of the putter, on the top of the ball, I should say, not the putter, and you're gonna hit it low in the putter face. And that's going to really hit it into the ground a little bit more and then bounce out, whereas we really want the ball to start rolling as early as we can. So by hitting up too much, that's not gonna work. So just get it back, and I think the best ball position is if we think about where the middle of the stance is, maybe one to two ball positions forward of that is the right place. That enables you to have a good strike on the golf ball, and the putter will rise a little bit. It's natural that it rises because we swing on an arc, and it's just gonna give you a much more solid impact and give you much better distance control. So the next simple putting correction we're gonna make is let's get our hands in a better position on the grip. I see so many people with their hands back. And if you actually combine that with hands back and ball forward, which was the last tip, that's a disaster. That's really gonna make you hit up. And I've seen people, I had a guy last week in a playing lesson, actually hit the ground behind the golf ball and he almost missed the ball on the putting green. So what we really need to do is get our hands level with the ball. We don't want them back here because if I get them back there, I'm gonna be rising again and I'm gonna have that same issue of hitting it up towards the top of the golf ball. So we just wanna get that hand in that position, ball just slightly forward of the middle of my stance. And then I can hit that ball with a nice strike yeah, it just broke a little bit more than I thought. But you could hear the sound of the impact. It was a quality strike. So really work hard on that. So you can do that in a mirror, sunny reflection in a window. There's plenty of places you can actually improve that element 
but it will go a long way towards helping you improve your putting. Okay, so the next element is probably the biggest thing that I see, and it's the biggest mistake that I see people make of all standards. And it's such an easy thing to fix. It's logical, but people just don't go about fixing it. So what is it? It's, if I take my setup to this, the thing that I see the most, in fact, I'll use this alignment stick, is probably the best thing. So if I take my setup to hold this putt, we've got my feet going in that direction. And most people's shoulders are aimed too far to the left. They don't realize it, <clears throat> but they do. So if I have my feet parallel to my start line and my shoulders to the left of my start line, I'm going to have a swing path that is moving left through impact. So if I know that, I can allow for that and aim the putter face and my uh, feet further right. Most people don't know that because it feels good. They feel really good and, they, and if, I said, if I asked them, which is what happened last week to a guy, I said, do you feel like your shoulders are aiming straight? And he said, yeah, absolutely. They're definitely aiming straight at, and they weren't. They were a long way left. Take our setup, and then we just put the stick across the shoulders, and that is much better. Now my shoulders and my feet are now parallel to each other, so that gives me the best chance of starting the ball in the right direction, and statistically, most people miss left of the hole. I wonder why that would be. So we'll see how I go with this one. Definitely started out down the right line, got it in there. So it's amazing the difference good shoulder alignment can make. And the other mistake I see people make uh, with their putting stroke is they actually have their hands too close to their body. So if we actually, if I take my setup and I show you what I see, with their hands too close to the body, the toe of the putter is sitting up in the air and that makes it hard because if I hit with my heel hitting the ground first, you can see it's closing the club face. So we want that sole of the putter to sit flatter. But even more importantly than that, if I have my hands close to my body, I'm engaging my wrist action. So I'll actually get up there and give this a little bit of a wristy flick, which can work. It has its good days and it has its bad days. But we don't want good days and bad days. We want average days and, and, and really good days. So if we can just keep control of that, and keep our wrists out of the shot, we're gonna have more consistency and more distance control. So what I'm looking for when I see someone with their putting stroke is I basically want that grip to be more in line with the forearm. If I go into this position that I see a lot of people in, you can see there that that grip is going into about where my belt would be. We want it more in line with the forearm. So if I can get into that nice setup position. That way my arms are just hanging naturally and I can swing them freely. There's no need to engage wrist action and, and flicking them. So if I can just try and get that golf ball, just forward of center, get my finger tucked underneath, hands level, shoulders in line, and then get the putter shaft in line with my forearm. It is giving me the best chance of success. Not great, distance control was good, and you're not gonna to make too many from this distance. But they're all simple mistakes, and they're mistakes that no one really even takes any notice of. I hear a lot of people whinging about how badly they putt, and they go out and they go from one hole to the next hole, but if you actually take a little bit of a look at your mechanics, there's nothing super, super complicated there. It's really just making sure your hand is in the correct position with your right thumb and pointer finger, get the ball position right, get your hands in a neutral position in the setup, get everything aligned, and then from there, get that forearm and club shaft in line. If you do those things, you're gonna find you're gonna have a much better distance control, you'll be able to start the ball online a lot more efficiently, and you're gonna get much better result. So thank you for letting me help you with your golf. 
I'm Brian Fitzgerald, The Golf Doctor, and I look forward to seeing you in my next video.